Let's look inside the Austin heat pipe to better understand what is happening. First, we start with a base material. Then, we form a meandering microchannel pattern on one face of that material. Next, we seal the microchannel volume inside that material by bonding a lid atop the microchannel surfaces. Finally, we clean, evacuate, and partially fill the internal microchannel with a working fluid. The working fluid's surface tension and wetting of the microchannel walls cause it to disperse inside the OHP into a characteristic chain of liquid slugs and vapor bubbles. The OHP starts up when a temperature gradient is applied to its surfaces by a heat source and or heat sink. At the heat source, the liquid slugs partially evaporate and expand axially. This both absorbs heat due to the enthalpy increase of the working fluid and exerts an outward axial-wise force on the chain of neighboring slugs and bubbles. At the heat sink, the vapor bubbles partially condense and contract axially. This both rejects heat due to the enthalpy decrease of the working fluid and induces an inward axial-wise force on the neighboring chain of slugs and bubbles. High frequency phase change events, meaning the evaporation and the condensation at the heat source and heat sink, cause the chain of slugs and bubbles to rapidly move or oscillate between the heat source and heat sink surfaces. And thus heat is transferred through the microchannels by the fluid's sensible and latent heat. Thermavant Technologies, at the forefront of thermal energy solutions.